My name is Diana and I'm from bloomsbythebox.com and I'm here to show you today how to make a wildflower boutonniere. So I've just laid out a little bit of delphinium, some pittosporum, pittosporum a uh, lavender pom-pom daisy, a small sprig of blue perum, and I have my floral tape and my shear, uh, I'm sorry, my floral knife so that I can go ahead and crop these down. And I'm going to go ahead and start to show you exactly how you put them together. First I'm going to start with my greenery as my little filler. I'm going to add delphinium in front of it, just a small top of the stem here, just for that big bright pop of blue. It's going to look like this when we're done. Okay. Um, okay, so then I'm going to add um, my blue perum here with a little bit of yellow accent in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this nice little pom-pom daisy. And then I'm going to use my floral tape here, and I'm just going to wrap it around until this is nice and secure. I'm going to just move this daisy down so you can see more of that delphinium. Now feel free as you're doing it to just improvise because that's really the best way to do it. Then once you get to the bottom, just twist down all the way down and twist the floral tape and you can rip it. You have that nice finished bottom look right there. And now you could always cut it if you think it's too, too big. So it's a little too long, so I just cut it down. And then if you want to get this design like I did on the other one, you just grab a little piece of rusticness here. And you tie a little bow at the top. Just like this. Make sure it's nice and tight at the top. And then you can go ahead and just twist down the bottom like this. And then make the other one crisscross it. So go the opposite way. Oops. And there you go, you get that nice little rustic design. And then you just put this down you make sure that the, top, the second knot is in the back of the boutonniere so that when it's on, you can't see the knot. And there you go, you have that little rustic feel to it and then you just cut these little extra pieces off. There you go. Now you have two really awesome little wildflower boutonnieres.